The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 167 of the TTV podcast. Mardi Gras. Wow. How's it going? He kind of waited. Yeah, he did. Kind. Good job, Thanks, man. man. You're, you're welcome. The next time, I really appreciate it. This is a one-time thing. <laughs> <laughs> or, right. or not. It can be an every-time thing. Or, yeah. or, or we or, can just stop doing or, Mardi Gras. Entirely. Oh, or, no. or you can suck it up and stop being such a jerk and let me do my Mardi Gras whenever I want. It's very unprofessional. You're unprofessional. Let's translate that. Yeah, boss. Stop making me... Not do things. things. That's so yeah, with Var, with, Var, with Var gone, I'm the reigning <laughs> boss. You are boss, not boss. Boss, 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 boss. You are not the boss. <laughs> I am big boss. You ain't the boss. Oh my no. goodness. No. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? It's going. You know, it's things going. are happening. Things Neat. are happening. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're recording this on Halloween. The podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't Thanks, care about Venom. Halloween. In fact, that's, that's so probably where Viper time. is. She's probably out doing Halloween festivities. Cause I, what she, a she, punk. She was saying, like, oh, I'm not going to do anything for Halloween this year. And I was, I was like on Twitter to her, you just do it, Viper, in the great words of Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> and she was like, okay, maybe I'll be a zombie or something. I'll be a I mean, zombie. But if, if, she, if she went as a zombie, she wouldn't need to dress up or nothing. <laughs> wow, just wow. Ouch. <laughs> that's probably where she is and Kai and Var are off doing their own thing. So we're going to uh, hold down the fort. Episode without Kahi. I'm so happy. Yeah, I know, Ouch. right? It's it's Kahi's be a lot been faster. so obnoxious recently. What's wrong with Kahi? Everything. Just his very presence. No, Kahi's fine. Yes! So. But in the meantime, we got to get our introductions <laughs> out of the way. Yes, I was so. actually going to mention so. that. I was going to say. No, you're not going to mention need, anything. That's all. We need to, like, introduce ourselves <laughs> for all the new viewers that don't know us. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm Messinac. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. You're supposed to say the names all spooky like for Halloween. Okay. <laughs> Start over. I'm Messinac! Brains, I'm LJ. I am Venom. <laughs> I retract my earlier suggestion. <laughs> I'm Takuma Nuva. And this is oh, TV man, that was spooky. The spooky oh, edition. So, <laughs> are the people listening to this in November are really gonna care? Yeah, not only are they really gonna care because this is coming out November second. I want to say. Yeah, I believe so. <coughs> Meso, uh, you are enough. skeleton. I was a zombie. Ven, you were count. I don't know. Venula. Takuma, you didn't need to do anything. You're scary enough. Takuma was Takuma Nuva. The scariest creature of them all. <laughs> but anyway, before we get too far into our crazy shenanigans, I'll do the regularly scheduled plugs. The plug shenanigans. So, uh, if you would like to check out all of our content one week early and just generally have an awesome time, head on over to Vessel.com forward slash TTV channel. Episode 168 of the TTV podcast will be up today if you're watching this on YouTube, either right now or later on today. And you can check that podcast out on Vessel every week on Monday at some point completely for free. However, if you would like to join the early access membership, if you will, pay $3 a month and get access to all of our content one week early. And it's uh, just generally pretty awesome and it helps support us a ton. Uh, yeah, and I was going to do the shirts and Audible, but then Var was like, we can do those at the end. So, shirts and Audible, they're a thing. No, 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 shirts and Audible at the end. There we go. Yeah. So that's Nobody's that's laughing right now. Yeah, you're not funny. <laughs> that one for you too, oh. Meso. God, oh, for I wasn't trying to be funny, I was trying to be informative. Come on, man. Gotta do it well, quick. Then you suck at giving the appearance of being informative. This week we've got a pretty interesting episode. 
Uh, individually, yeah, we, we kind of do, because individually, really? individually, none of these things are really all that great, but put them all together, and we've got a nice variety. Huh. Yeah, right. I think we'll start off with, uh, well, probably the biggest piece of news to me personally, uh, the finalized pictures of Tahu Uniter of Fire oh, and Umarak yeah. the Hunter. Oh, and in their cure. awkward poses. Yeah, and I cure creature of fire, and yes, they're very awkward poses. And I will throw the picture up on the description. Initially, it got, I mean, on the description in the video, <laughs> and also link it in the description, a uh, bigger version that you can find on the club.lego.com website, because this is actually included in the Lego Club. So I think for once, Lego got their wish, and finalized pictures were released on their terms. Wow. In their official media. They have been all... doing a stellar job at keeping leaks under wraps. They really yeah. are. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta say. Because we're overdue for finalized pictures by about a month, but <coughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> and this sets themselves, you know, as Ben pointed out, they're not in the best poses, really, uh, to get a lot of the good details on them. But it's it's fine, kind of. I'll be honest, I kind of hate Tahu's weapons. You hate no, I, Tahu I really don't like generally. Tahu's weapons either, to be they're honest. Like re they're really obnoxious. It's like they just <laughs> wanted to put a function in so badly. They just did some convoluted like, thing. I, I so wanted to like them from our like initial leaks, but now, now I kind of see them from a different perspective. Not, are they going to hold in place, or are they going to like lock in different orientations? Or are they gonna well, flop I mean, around? there is a blue friction pin. That is yeah, a very yes. good point. Yeah. Because I'll just, like, fully extend them outwards and never mess with it. I mean, Which, I guess, you do have the ability to do. So, hey. Credit where credit so, is due. I mean, but in general, I like. think you just hate any iteration of Tahu. No matter what. I don't hate Tahu. Yes, I kind of oh, like, like Tahu. I kind of like Tahu Master. After a lo long time of getting used to him. I'm, uh, I'm kind of big on him. And I like Tahu Mystica, but that's about it. Yeah, I like Tommy Mystica <laughs> too. Yeah. I'm not gonna touch upon that comment. I feel that Var, were he here, would be yelling at you. Oh, yeah, we, we've gotten into it before. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. People disagree. Who cares? <coughs> Boo hoo. Anyway. Yeah. Out. So, a couple interesting things about these sets that we can tell now that they're fully finalized. We get the confirmation to my great chagrin that all the people that said they have a waste function ended up being right. Even though I didn't think they'd go that route, I thought they would just still have the arms. Now it's I mean, clearly <laughs> clearly evident on their waists. There's a big turntable gear that you can twist with the a gear and uh, gear. <laughs> yeah, cause their upper torsos to swivel around, kind of like, well, I don't know, good comparison. Rockchi, Rock yeah, yeah Rockchi, yeah, you Rocky. can spin them around to drop them beats. <laughs> <laughs> Bend him right round, baby, right round. Okay, if it can lock in, firing him. If it can lock in place, then I won't mind. If it can't, then I'm gonna hate it. Yeah, I have to agree. I, I, that's I, I really highly annoying. doubt I, they'd make it so that it's that freely spinning. I would like to think that. I mean, they but, were uh, smart enough to do it with the arms on previous sets. Yeah, yeah. that is very true. These guys are so creative. I have yeah. a lot of faith in them. I didn't expect Umarak to have the function as well and have a fully custom torso, just really? like I'm sure they that all I do. Did. No, I thought kind of that kind of Umarak would be like the odd one out because he's reusing a lot of parts. I thought they'd kind of just be like have a generic villain with him. Yeah. But no, he's got the whole deal. He's got the function and he's got what looks to be a completely custom torso, I mean, which I'm excited to see. Currently, the hmm. controversy with Umarak, as I understand it, is that his mask is silver as opposed to the black from the prelims. Yeah, oh, not a fan yeah, of that. that. That looks really bad. Not a fan of that, but, you know, I don't mind not having black as a primary color. <laughs> you know, really? I feel about black and red. I mean, uh, this, this guy, guy is more. black and red. Silver is his primary, in my mind. Black is his primary, green is his secondary, and red is a highlight. There's actually a so lot and different silver from is that what? preliminary version. Say what? There's Sil actually a lot Sil that's different from the preliminary. <coughs> yeah, he's missing his bow, for instance. But we know he's gonna have it because they yeah. mentioned his bow. A lot of the pieces. Do we know that, that he's gonna have his bow? Yeah, he mentioned it. 
the description of the sets mentioned it. The picture of, that I linked yeah, to the text listener. Do we know version. that? Yes. A lot of pieces that were gray are now brown. Yeah, but do we know that? Brown. brown. Do we? Yeah. Know that? The hands? Do we, some of the armor shells? Do we know that? Oh, Now no, that no, you no, mentioned no, it, the no. hands look black, but they are making brown hands in the Star Wars construction figures, so I wouldn't put it past that. That looks black to you? Yeah. Yeah, kind of does. It's the okay. same colors as forearm armor, which exists in black in that color. That does... I may be red-green colorblind, but I'm pretty sure I can still tell the difference between black and brown. Huh. Okay. And I'm pretty we'll sure... See. It's a trick of the light. His horns are brown. I'm pretty like, sure not, that not his actual antler well, pieces. Come to but think the of it, some one. of the pieces on Toe look kind of brownish too. So I don't know. Yeah. Guess and I don't think the Toe of Fire is going to start looking like a Toe of Earth. Oh wait, no. I mean stone. Except no, I mean Earth. But it's not out of the question because right around the same <laughs> time as this came out, we also got pictures of the Star Wars construction sets, which we'll get to in a minute. So it's not impossible. But yeah. I really like Umarak. He looks like a cool dude. Although Umarak, I gotta say, as much as I like his, as much as I like his custom leg design, and I do like it, looking at the rest of the model, it's aesthetically inconsistent. Yeah, that's a lot of the criticism that um, I agree. The uh, uniters <clears throat> are currently facing. Yeah. Thanks to their like, upper leg armor, or the new piece. Which does, to be fair, it looks really strange. <laughs> It doesn't like, cover like the it. armor. It, it, I love the piece, but it doesn't cover the legs all that great in oh, comparison yeah, to no. regular armor. No, and, he uh, doesn't do any better job than any single uh, shell piece would. High size three. Well, he does a better job. He gives it a bit more detail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you come into the argument of whether or not it's worth it because it breaks up the cohesion of the CCBS, etc. But does et it break up the cohesion? You know, it works fine with it works fine with Tahu because Tahu has both the piston armor and like oh, that's I mean, about it. I guess you, his torso and those crystalline pieces. Yeah, they kind of work with that similar aesthetic. So we'll have to see with the others. I've but I mean, I've said it before. I'll say it again. The first wave of Bionicle sets were good, but they definitely looked like Bionicle. Like, like, Bionicle guest starring in Hero Factory. These ones, to me, actually look like straight-up Bionicle. It doesn't make me think of Hero Factory at all. <coughs> yeah, same here. Eh, I never really thought of Hero Factory with the originals. The, uh... I did. The Gen... The, the launch Gen there's, 2. There's just too many smooth shells and stuff. They looked really good, but it still evoked that... Sent that... I don't know. I, it made me think of Hero Factory. Mm, teach your own, because I've heard that a lot. That is a very common critique of Bionicle. Can I mention how obnoxious it is that Tahu's only red pieces are his mask and his lower legs? Yes, you can. That and and then in his golden version, his only red pieces are his lower legs. <laughs> yeah, I yep. know, that bugs me a lot. I'm just going to take them off. Hilarious. Why, like would I, why would I keep those on? <laughs> I like it. No you like it? Well, I li well, <laughs> I'm so you sound so confused, like... You, well, you like, like it? How do you like it? <laughs> I like the transparent red better than the red, but what I hate is that they keep the red on there in such a minimal quantity. Just get rid of it entirely. If you're going to do that. I mean, we know they're going to do that in the third year because Tahu's going to be completely gold and yeah, trans orange. And Dude, that'd be awesome. He's going to be, be completely cool. elemental. I just yeah. can't believe it took us this long to finally start getting so many gold pieces. Like, we had to get all the way up to Hero <laughs> Factory. I'll, let, I'll, I'll refrain from talking and let you enjoy your, your state of life. I said Hero Factory. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Did just, I miss uh, something? I, no, 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 no. You were, I'm, you're not, I'm just, not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Meso's, like, fuming right now. I'm not <laughs> crazy about the gold overdose. No, I, mean, I, think that like it's, I think that it's taken a I'd color that was gold once overdose special. Than silver overdose. How about no Agreed. overdose and balanced colors? That, I think that's a nice, yeah. better option right there. Don't do drugs like well, I don't. I don't like, want gold on everything and in everything, but I just think gold top looks like pretty cool. He, he does look pretty cool. I've, he's, not, he's not what I have a problem with. It's more like a symptom of the times, because like. Because gold was once a special color. When you got gold in a set, it meant something. It was a big deal. 
And now it seems like they're still trying to push that agenda. Gold is this special color that signifies power and cool stuff, golden masks, etc. But it's everywhere. So it's become oversaturated yeah, so and it's lost that make stuff special with feeling. It That's certainly a fun... Yeah, like LJ's ugly mask for the contest. Hey! Hey! Yeah, may as well talk about that. LJ, you finally wow. finished your intro. So just ruining the segue. That could have been yeah, so serious. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm done with this podcast. You guys statement. want to go get a bite to eat? Yep. Oh, okay. yeah, let's go do it. All right. 15 minute podcast? Yeah, nah, this is fine. Uh, see you at uh, Subway, which I can't eat anyway. Okay, cool. Subway? <laughs> Let's not go to Subway. <laughs> Alright, BRB. Yep. But okay, uh, in all seriousness, uh, that's pretty much all for the sets. The only other thing I would mention is that uh, the creatures don't have eye holes. Oh, really? It's one Their mold? eyes are molded in, yeah. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it, you're right. Yep. That's hilarious. And then Tahu appears to have kept his stupid silver hair, which is very questionable, but what can we do? Hey, Meso, tell yes. me if this is just a trick of the eye. The base of Tahu's gold mask, does it look kind of greenish? It does, but I think it is just a reflection. Okay. But uh, you're I mean, right, I'm I, I just sure see what you mean. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't put lime green on a gold mask, but... Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Make sure I was seeing right. The other thing is, uh, people mentioned a distinct lack of brain stalks. Uh, I so, mean, they've gotta have eye stalks. It's probably like the uh, 08 ones. If it's so, got rid that's of the fine. I'm not objecting yeah. to that. That was but. a superfluous and more annoying function than anything. So okay, get rid of it. Listen here, Meso. That was perfectly fine, and I appreciate it. You didn't were the slightest bit annoyed by knocking off your masks always? I mean, I was careful with them. I handled them with respect. No, it was really annoying. If you respect the set, it, was, it, it wasn't worth you. it. Unless you're a little kid playing games with your set, it's not worth it in the least. Hey, Just I'll let you know right now. Are you I a little a kid, Elder? I'm a 45-year-old man, Meso, and I play with my... Wait. <laughs> Wait a second, there's something wrong about that sentence. Oh, I know, Amazing. okay. I am a proud 65-year-old woman, Meso, and I play with my sets no matter what you say. Wow. You're a fool. How dare right. you. Well, honestly. Glad the I'm others were around to hear that. Stuff. All right, they're around. They're around. You the think? poor, poor right, excuses for and human how beings. Dare you talk crap about me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the only other thing of note is the story details, which reveal that Akimu has, in fact, sent them on this quest so they can become powerful enough to retrieve the Mask of Control. And Umarak's traps are called shade, uh, shadow traps. Shadow shade traps. traps. Which is questionable to me because they don't exactly evoke any semblance of the word shadow pretty much at all. They're I mean, bright silver and, like, transparent <laughs> shades. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, what, they're not black? No. None no. of them? Not even gunmetal? Maybe. Nope. A few of them are gunmetal. I don't well, know. Hard I to tell. I doubt it, but yeah. Hmm. yeah it's, <laughs> what if they're it's brown? Funny to me. <laughs> That'd be great. I'd love that. But, uh, quite honestly, yeah, it's pretty much all for this. Hopefully we see the rest of the sets soon. And we can make some more informed analyses. But until then, it's cool we have these. I guess we'll springboard into uh, the next thing. <coughs> which is also some more sets that have gotten revealed. Mm. And these sets are uh, not necessarily as unanimously loved. It is the next wave of Star Wars construction <laughs> figures. Based on The Force Awakens. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Ugly, these sets ugly, are ugly, 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 ugly. But some of them are cool. <laughs> like the stormtrooper's cool. We've seen him before. Ugly. He's pretty solid. Nothing wrong with him. Captain Phasma ugly. looks awesome to me. Oh, it's only because of the cape, Meso. Come on. Nah, it's just recolored stormtrooper. Did you just say Captain Phasma? Isn't that her name? As far as I'm aware, that is her name. Oh, I was looking at the wrong set. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, looking, I was looking at Kylo Ren. Ren. Oh, no, yeah. Hey, Kylo, yeah Ren looks, Kylo Ren looks really dumb to me, personally. <laughs> like, 
don't he know doesn't have his hood. Any of these things. I feel like his Everybody. um his forearms are too short. They are. He's just really generic. It, it's kind of disappointing. You get Darth Vader, the other big bad, who is like a $30 fully custom Titan with a crazy torso design. And then this dude is like the big bad for this next movie, and he's super generic and I small. Mean, that's from this picture. We don't actually know how he's constructed. True. That but is like, true. look at his legs. Look at his legs. Don't they just evoke genericness? No, they evoke Darth Vader's. Yeah, Darth Vader had better legs. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He had, like, the sideways armor with, like, the other additional add-on piece. But Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, sure. So, I think all the villains look okay, at least, what's but the, the hero. What's the sweaty black guy's name again? Finn. <laughs> oh, Finn. Finn. Uh, he, he has some pretty cool colors on him. He does. It's hard to tell what exactly those colors are. I honestly might pick them up and then I mean, throw away so his head because it looks it's, so ridiculous. It's really easy to tell what those colors are. Uh, yeah, he's got brown tan, hands and he's got dark tan. Dark, dark uh, tan and brown hands, hands but like, what, what shade of brown is it? <coughs> it's kind it's of like from a Chima. Chima construction figures. How do you know? Because if you look behind him at uh, what's her name, she Red. has the bright tan pieces. I'm not talking about tan, I'm talking about the brown. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what shade of brown that is, but I'm talking Hopefully. about like his, his arm pieces, the shells. I can't shells believe there. you guys are nitpicking over a guy's Finn. color. My gosh, you're so racist. <laughs> Love Al. <coughs> no, I actually think the heroes aren't that bad either, to be honest. Like, Finn's kind of stupid, but he has cool colors. Uh, I think Ray actually looks pretty solid, to be honest. She's got a cool, like, waist cape and, like, a front cloth decoration. <laughs> you're never going to use that. No, I'm not, but it's cool it exists. And, like, it's bright tan and then dark tan, and then the uh, the pilot guy, Poe Dameron, actually looks pretty cool, to be honest. He's got, like, a Technic over-wrapping that uh, works with that aesthetic pretty nicely. Yeah. What, what perturbs me is that they all have gear functions. Yeah, that's absurd. They do? Like, they, yeah, yeah if you look at their backs, functions. they all have gears, and they all have, well, at least Finn has a custom oh, torso. Yeah. Oh, that could- I see it on Finn, so, and I see it on the chick. As cool as that is, I gotta ask, why? They all have blasters, except for Rey. <laughs> like, it works for Rey and Kylo Ren and nobody else. What are they gonna do, beat him over the head with their blaster? <laughs> makes no sense to me. Isn't Finn <laughs> but, seen using a lightsaber at some point? Maybe it's included in the set and just not shown here? That's very Maybe. possible, yeah. Good, good point, actually, because, yeah, spoiler alert, they may keep that off. The promotion. I mean, it doesn't well, make any sense. They've already shown it in it's the been, It's been in the trailers. Yeah. So. I just appreciate the sets come off looking a little less aesthetically pleasing than the last wave, but it seems like they're a little more creative as far as the baseline set prices, but there are no titans. So Man. it's a weird wave. I feel I won't get many of them, but I'll I'll pick up at least one just to see the novelty of the custom torso. Eh, I probably am not going to get any of them, personally I speaking. I won't be. <clears throat> Gotta support that Star Wars franchise. So there are hundreds do of millions of other people supporting <laughs> the Star think, Wars um, franchise. I think it's in need actually of money pass. desperately. I might actually pass. I may order some of the parts from these sets, like yeah. from a uh, sweaty black guy. But um, <laughs> I swear, Ben. Yeah, nice. no. The Finn only Star just, Wars Finn set just I actually, wants to be loved. A uh, Finn, Finn. Yeah, the only. Star Wars set that I want to pick up right now is General Grievous, still. Get about- him! I have him, Meso has him. He is great. I want to get I also him recommend- and or Darth Vader. I would or recommend actually, Vader no, too, no. but he's not Grievous as cool. Grievous is going to happen, that's for sure. Yeah. But, I'd yeah. recommend uh, Darth Vader. He's not as cool, but he's still cool in his own right. <clears throat> um, so I've heard- yeah, these sets are weird. Don't know if and when I'll be getting any, but I'll probably get one. Okay. Uh, and that's all for the new set releases, to be honest. There's a bunch of miscellaneous news. Like, we got some concept art from uh, the 2015 set. Yeah. BZ Power posted it, it on their Fair. Instagram. It was shown at Brick Fair in New <coughs> Jersey, which is pretty cool. Supposedly, gotta mention this, the 2016 sets are shown off as well, specifically Kopaka and Melum. 
and uh, photography was not allowed, but apparently the guy was like, well, Tahu and Umarat got shown in a Lego club, so it's okay if I show this. And apparently it has been confirmed that at least Kopaka has a Nuva symbol on his forehead, and the rest of them do as well, because we saw that in the prelims. Yeah, we, we Wait, knew on the forehead? That. On the forehead. <coughs> yeah, in the mask so, mold. Yeah. But what we do have pictures of is a bunch of concept art of the Toa, of the skull villains, of some miscellaneous pieces, and even some prototypes of the Toa protectors and skull villains. And I really say, wish they were bigger. They really were inspired by Chima. Uh, sorry, they not Chima. Really were. Factory uh, Invasion from Below. That's what I meant. Chima as well. But yeah, the, these are below. some really <laughs> ugly prototypes. <laughs> Come on, uh, man, what's wrong with the prototype? Like, it's so weird, because the concept art and all looks really amazing. I would even argue that some of it looks better than what we ended up getting. Then we look mm -hmm. at the prototypes, which is supposed to be the execution of concept, and... Bleh. I I kind of like Skull Grinder. <laughs> Do you really? I kind of question mark like him. That's what I thought. I like his hands, and I like his weapon more so than what we you actually got. You like his got. hands? His hands look ridiculous. <laughs> they, they do, but in that, like, cheesy, ridiculous way, it's, it's kind of great. They don't even look good. <laughs> they kind of look good, but not for a figure of his so size. Silly. Yeah. look so silly. You look so silly. Wait, hold this show. I just now noticed he has two heads. Really? You yep. just now know that? One of them is a skull spider prototype. Scorpio has it too. On there. Yeah. Okay, that's, um. Alright. Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay. Splitter grinder. <laughs> yeah. And then Akimu has no gold. He's like light blue and white. <laughs> Interesting. No, so Master, peculiar. you got that wrong. It's skull splitter. Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. Okay, that's it. We fire him. The Skull Villain prototypes are really bizarre to me. Like, Skull Scorpio appears relatively unchanged, except he uses lost legs. Uh, and then <laughs> Skull Basher, I don't know what to make of him. He looks like a sea creature. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he has the fins yeah, on his yeah, face. Yeah, whatever. He's blue. And then, um, the protectors are just bizarre. Like, I don't even know what to make of them. I don't. I, I would really like a better look at these because they're kind of small and they're kind of they have a glare on them that makes it difficult to discern yeah, details. Yeah. Not only are these pictures not really all that great, they're pictures of a screen and that shouldn't have been a thing. Yeah. But it is of note they have a weird looking prototype That's skull spider that I'd really like to see in more detail. It's like a skull jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I actually kind of like that. That's the only thing from these prototypes I like. The only thing? Yep. What about Tahu's probably more classic mask design that you can't really it see all that It looks really well. fat. I don't like it. <laughs> it reminds me more of the of the Nuva version, which I never liked. You look oh, really man. fat, Vin. Also, it's really interesting that they're like substituting the piston pieces because they didn't exist yet. <laughs> yeah. Like, Onua looks relatively unchanged, except he has uh, less distributed gold. Uh, maybe more distributed gold. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, more gold. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what are you He's saying? He's got more gold, but the pieces are smaller, so like it doesn't look like he has as much. Yeah, whatever, Meso. Kopaka looks strange. He's got more I don't really silver. know what to make of him. Yeah. That's, not like, that's not even something like gunmetal on his upper legs. <laughs> and he's got like the paw pieces but they're on his arms and they have like the claws coming off of them folding down it I looks really strange like that. Yeah, all in all I, I'm, I'm with you the final versions are better than these which is a surprise because normally we're all like wow those prototypes are awesome yeah usually yeah, the prototypes end, end up looking a lot more interesting than the final versions but whatever. although I will say Tahu has back coverage on the back of his legs no he doesn't shut up in the prototype? No, nope, yeah, he, does. he nope. does. Nope, stop lying. Uh, you stop lying. Why the heck you lying? Stop spreading <laughs> misinformation, Ben! Amazing. Anyway, no, you are right. It, it does look really awkward. I mean, it looks better than the stick figure legs he has in his final but set. But does it, though? Yes, it does! Or are you just saying that so you can sound right about something? 
I am right about something. What I really love. Why the heck is you lying? Oh, come on! You're Amazing lying. song. Uh, what I really love about this is not so much the prototypes, so much as it is the concept of the skull villains. The concept art for these guys is just awesome. Yeah. And it's difficult to read some of these names, but we have such great creatures as the Skull Crusher, the Battle Bat, <laughs> Voodoo, the Voodoo Brothers. Voodoo Brothers. <laughs> skull and Crusher. And that, that huge creature. Am I reading this wrong? Or in the bottom left corner of the screen where they show this really huge guy, it says Kulta Kal. I want, I want to build that. I'm going to build that. that. I think I'm exist. misreading it. I think it's a B instead of a K. I, I think Kahl. that does said. I think that does say uh, call to call. Yeah. Looks like... I totally want to build that, though. It looks like it looks it's a combiner huge. of all of them. It does, doesn't it? It looks like they melted their rib cages together. Except none of them had wings. Uh, Battle oh, Bat. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, I, mean, I thought you meant, like, final sets. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, it no, does. I mean, like, way, this though. looks like a combiner of all those... Uh, it does. Concepts. Because then you then got, got some other really awesome weapon things. being put slammed together to make that big hammer looks battle like the bats Voodoo wings. Brothers weapons make a shield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, oh, awesome. this would have been cool. Why didn't they do I, this? I love the concept. Because of this. who do you voodoo, Ven? Shut up! I hate I love, you. I'm gonna make a. I love this I'm gonna so make, much more. I'm gonna make a transforming mock <laughs> based on these concepts, and then they're all gonna combine to make Kultakal. Go for it. I'm going. To, I'm going to do this. this I, I, I love the concept of this. And then, like that, the other picture there is like all of them. And this, this one guy there is like a sword with a launcher built onto it, and this huge shield with like a flail on his other weapon. It's in the purple um, swords, purple. You know and lime what we call? Gu- Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's called a bayonet, Meso. Fair enough. <laughs> Wait, what oh, was Meso calling it? <laughs> A sword with a launcher on it. It doesn't look like a gun with a sword on it. It looks like somebody took a scrawl weapon and like stuck a launcher on the a side. It looks like weapon. someone took a launcher and added a bayonet. <laughs> these are no, really, cool. really These actually honestly remind me of I really wish a... we... I, I really want these for like wallpapers on my computer. Yeah. These, these remind me of a concept art for the Transformer movies. I always liked looking at those. <laughs> Maybe the movies come so out than you're the like, movies. <laughs> that doesn't take much. <laughs> Ouch. But yeah, no, because like these Bay are is super directing like, detailed and everything, and they, ha- they got some really cool-looking designs in here. The art design for Bionicle 2015's concept art is really on point. Yeah. Like, props to you, team. Whoever's, like, translating that into the final version needs to do better at their job. Yeah, really, Whoa. because these look nothing like the final version. <laughs> no, I'm these kidding. are so I joke. De- you, you wouldn't even believe that these were supposed to be Lego sets. Like, what the heck? I know, it, right? it feels like they hired the wrong artists <laughs> for this. Yeah. It's not exactly fitting, like, to what the actual sets will end up being. Like, the one in the up top middle is supposed to be Skull Basher. No. So we got concept art of him a while ago, and like that looks almost nothing like Skull Basher actually I did. I really want for the that horns. top left one. Yeah, he looks really awesome. Oh man, these sets are so cool. I wish they okay, existed. Okay, okay, oh, oh my god. god. Oh man, these sets look so cool. <laughs> like, it kind of makes what we got look pretty pathetic. Like I look over at my shelf and I see Skull well, Slicer just... staring at me with his stupid, ugly face. Consider this, like, Come meso. on, man. If you're one of those people who believes in the multiverse, there is an alternate timeline where these exist. <laughs> <laughs> Consider well, that me a doesn't believe. make Meso feel any better. That, yeah, that go doesn't there. make me feel better either. I'll go over there. I'll find a way to be hopping. I was going to say, learn, figure out a way to cross into the multiverse. I'll go rip the them. Olmac off LJ's stupid mask. Okay, and then screw use it. you! <laughs> Speaking of, <coughs> you made a mask. Yes, I made a mask, and I entered it into Lego's mask contest. What is your mask, LJ? What amazing concept. Amazing originality did you come up with? I have created the mask of victory. Can't wow. wait to do a spotlight on it so I can tear it to shreds. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. But yeah, so I I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm very proud of the end result. I don't feel that I'm going to win. <laughs> no man, the power of positive thinking. <laughs> oh come on, Jay. 
Not me. You know what I really hate about your picture? <coughs> what? It's at an angle. Wh- which one? And it, it, it really bothers me. Your which? main entry, your main entry picture, the one where it's just like the mask. It's tilted. Oh, that is the slightest. <laughs> oh, thing. that is it really is, annoying. It's tilted so LJ, slightly. How, that is such a big oversight. Now they're <laughs> definitely not gonna pick you. <laughs> oh, definitely. Come on. You know if, why? If people at Lego are OCD like me, which they probably are, because they design sense. These pictures but, uh, have, these photographs have too much blue. It, it was it was cloudy outside. I will fix them. <laughs> well, it's I mean, it's already, already entered. entered. <laughs> you fool. I mean, the yeah. 31st is the last day of entry. But Why yeah, didn't I you feel... tell me sooner? I, 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 I mean, we talked about to it the on last... the podcast. LJ put this off to the last minute, taking these photos, and then he asked for feedback, and I gave him feedback, and he's like, <laughs> there's nothing I can do, Messo. <laughs> Messo, because nothing your I feedback was ridiculous. <laughs> It's like, listen, you should take a picture of you actually wearing the mask like everyone else. Where, cause like you mentioned before, the mask is at its best. I have five other photos of me wearing the mask. And yet the one front and center is like... <laughs> it's not Tilted front and at center. an angle. Yeah, because... So I swear. <laughs> Bottom line, I entered it, and by the time this podcast comes out, we're going to know who the winner is. Cause on the yeah, actually, second. today. Yeah, yeah so, today. So, LJ, yeah. Yes. Let, let, give let us your reactions. reactions. If I win, yeah, all right, yeah, I'm doing a review of that. If I lose, all right, guys, well, the Mask of Victory lost. That's going to be what I'm known for now. (laughs) I'm very proud of my mask, and I'm actually going to use it for future videos. You're going to get wrecked. But I um, mean, power of positive thinking. (laughs) It was a good run. I'm going to spotlight you either way, so... You have that I'm proud of my mask. To. I'm very happy with the outcome. And I got a question. It's a shame I lost. I have a question, Elder. Yeah, what? In the lore that you have constructed, what is the purpose of the black ear spikes and the black like buck teeth? Well, you see, <laughs> the buck teeth were used to intimidate one's opponent because the mask of victory is given to only the most skilled <laughs> hammer flush players. Because it's either really intricate, it's very exclusive, or because it has a hinge, a hinged mouth, which you can see the function of. Yeah, whatever. That that's that's kind of my my ace up the sleeve. It's the function. You should have done a video demonstration. <coughs> no, I'll do it later. Um, but the reason for the uh, the things on the top, they're also for intimidation, but. They are to help the user detect attacks because they're super sensitive to vibration. So they oscillate at certain frequencies and they can detect and help <laughs> the user oscillate? detect. Oscillate? Yeah, like they vibrate. Don't hate I oscillate. Oh my, oh my gosh. Gosh. Several minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, they like Jeez, they vibrate you sound so and like. so dorky right now. <laughs> Oscillating frequencies. <laughs> There's actually no reason for that at all. I just made that up on the spot. Yeah, it ridiculous. Like it. Yeah, but no, it looked oh, wow. cool and it filled some gaps. So that's why they're there. Yeah, but I really hate your top left pictures at an angle too. Yeah, I told How you. How hard that. is it to stand straight? I told straight? you that. How hard is it to stand straight? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Come I'm on, not man. The one doing that. I can stand straight like a normal person. A better question would be: How the- hard is it to make a good-looking mask? Oh, come on, Ben. I <laughs> yeah, asked for critique for weeks. <laughs> it really perturbs and me I how, like... you the same critique. <laughs> it looks like It, it perturbs me how gap, how gappy the eyes are. Oh, my gosh. And, like, you put that bone piece, like, to fill up the gaps, but, like, it's aesthetically inconsistent. Oh, my gosh, mess So, like, yeah. I mean, you guys were worried it wouldn't fit. It didn't fit. It was too short. It's gappy by the nose. No, it's too long. <coughs> then why is there gaps by the nose? Why doesn't it just fit right over? <laughs> because if I put it forward, the function would get in the way of the eyes. But would it, though? So be it. Yes, it would push them forward into that position. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I tested it. I have this mask. How well did you test it? Thoroughly. <laughs> 
<sighs> bottom well, line, you know, I'm hoping I win because if I win, I get to review the mask. Bottom line, you're not going to win because you didn't accept any critique from anybody. I accepted so much critique nope. from our moderators. I can't even tell you what their critique is because I didn't get their permission N- first. Nope. Uh- <laughs> <coughs> Nice. But I accepted a lot of critique. I incorporated it. It's actually why certain things are the way they are. Meso, you would know. Nope. Yeah. But nope. I'm I'm happy with the end result. I'm really hoping I can win. And if I don't, that's fine. I'm glad I entered. You fought valiantly against overwhelming odds. And let me tell you, the odds are overwhelming. Yes, <laughs> as you've mentioned. The competition is real. Yes. I haven't really seen that many great masks out there, but I guess I'm <laughs> Dude, some, some of the newer some of the newer entries, they're ridiculous. Let me see. I haven't I you haven't shown them I to mean, me. I haven't seen them. Yeah. We should Okay, fair enough. All right, time for my favorite part of the podcast. The let's make LJ feel like dirt and rob him of his chances of victory hour. Oh no. So, uh yeah, I love this part. So, let me go Link to it. the Bionicle Facebook page. And I am just going to pull up a ton of posts. But no, as of the time, this episode will come out November 2nd. Either we're already going to know, which is the probable scenario, or we will know as the day goes on. So, well, send all Jay your well wishes. While, while you're pulling that up, is there anything stuff. else we want to mention just to get out of the way? Uh, Somebody went as LJ for Halloween. Yes! Oh my <laughs> goodness, that was hilarious. How'd that go? So... <laughs> I'm allergic to talking about this. So, Cardinex Corinson, my apologies if I didn't say that right. <laughs> you put your He sent me a picture on Google Plus of his Halloween costume, and it's of this really funny looking gold cardboard Miru. That's that's painted gold. And he's wearing plaid. And I'm sitting here going, okay, that could be anything. It could be Liwa, and he just happens to be wearing a plaid shirt. And then I click on the page, I go, I look through the comments. And somebody asks, you're going to LJ? And he says, yes. <laughs> and I'm Amazing. sitting here, and I'm just going, you win- you're going as me for Halloween. That is <clears throat> the most flattering thing. It's that just, is pretty awesome. <laughs> and he did a great job with it, too. It, it's so good. You've advanced to the point where people he dress up as did such a good job Halloween. making it look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and, and it still masks. looks better than your original mask, too. How does that make you feel? Absolutely fine. Also, yeah, whatever. Man, props to you, man. That is awesome. Leave uh, you, man, what, out what of What isn't this. awesome, though, are these masks. <clears throat> That second one. Who made that second one? I, I uh, bet I know. The first one's pretty cool. Oh, uh, I see. Second one. Is that the one with the teeth? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, let's see. That one looks ridiculous. I hate that one. It has, it has ears that remind me of, like, Culta from the animations. <laughs> anyway, it's the, uh, the Mask of Horror by Jordan Ross. Oh. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Then we've got uh, <laughs> The Mask of Ice. By Body Verlan. What the Whoa, fuck? Whoa, this is cool. How? Yeah. How did I ever hope to win? This one's The Mask of Enticement by Clive Davies. <laughs> yeah, it's enticing me to revoke my entry. The Mask of <laughs> Leadership. Like the Mask of Leadership by Kyle Yoon. All these got perfect, well, not perfect scores, but all three of the criteria. That from last Liga. one didn't wow. get a perfect score. No, it didn't. It got a, that's the only one. But wait, why did it get docked on color? It's all the same. Probably because it's not uh, vibrant. Oh. It's all like silver, which is super generic. Yeah. But then the one before it is all black. Not all black. It's black and silver. Oh, get out of here. With red eyes. That one was literally all silver. Didn't even have eyes. I mean, really, how did I ever hope to win? I put in a little measly function and hope, and I like, that's my, my calling card function. Which you didn't even demonstrate properly in a Mesel, video for them I to see it. I demonstrated it Listen, fine! you didn't! Yes, a I picture. did! I have what? a picture Listen, guide! You if I didn't look at that mask at all that chin, closely... You flip a lever, it comes down, you push it back up. If I didn't look at that all too closely, I wouldn't even know you had a gear function. I would just think you, it flipped downwards. It doesn't matter. It it's up. a function. 
It doesn't matter. It, 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 it does not matters matter. in the presentation. <coughs> yeah, the it's all about how you fine. present it to Lego. And as instead, I have a gallery <coughs> as well. A gallery with no video or GIF. No, oh, so! Anyway. There is the Mask of Merc, uh, also I don't, I don't by like Jordan Ross. One. I've seen that one before. I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah, I don't like this one either. It looks too Cthulhu. It just looks weird. There it is. The Mask of Radiation by Mohammed Hasham Mari. Mask of Radiation. Uh, oh, this okay, one's kind of cool. How did this get color marks? It's I mean, it's all the same thing, but with, like, lime green. Uh, I'm so toast. Uh, Gunmetal, so trans neon green, and, like, uh, yeah. When did fun. they uh, grade these? Uh, this was the week three grading period, it says. <coughs> yep. I'm I, I doubt yours is even going to get graded. I don't think mine's going to get graded. Too late. And then one last entry, The Mask of Shadows by Ryan Kasakia. Kasakia. Okay, that one's interesting. On. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that yeah, one. I've seen this one before, too. <laughs> I don't, not feeling it. Not personally crazy about that one, but I appreciate the design that he put into it. There's well, some, there's some me, cool let, little details uh, on it, though. Let me go yeah. ahead and continue my sorrow. It was a good run. And then I look at how my mask turned out. It was really <laughs> nice. stupid bootleg, like, tilted picture. <coughs> I'm really, really glad Lego got a chance to see my work. Rip. Rip, LJ. Oh, yeah, one more mask. Uh, Lego <laughs> only gave this one, one, like, one grading mark because it doesn't fit a lot of the criteria, but I really like it just from an oddball perspective. <laughs> yeah, that's not a mask. <laughs> that what the I mean they gave it the creativity mark yeah I really like that one it is creative this is cool but yeah it's it's no mask <laughs> yeah it's like it's like a calm device yeah it's like Something a creepy a... calm device like why does it have teeth <laughs> because you gotta so eat, weird. eat your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches but it's yep. definitely unique gotta give it that that's for sure there um, were a lot of strange entries. Somebody made like the mask of masks, and it was just a bunch mask of, masks of masks stuck together. I mean, that got all marks. There's the mask of not that one. Oh. That's, that's the mask of Farsight by Alex Muss. And that got all the mask. marks. Okay, if that yep, gets all did. marks, mine totally does. Well, where, where's the mask of masks? I'll try to find it. It was uh, posted last night, and I'm sure there's been a torrent of stuff since then. A but I'll go on the hunt. Uh... Well, but until then, good, good run. <laughs> Thanks for all the support, guys. There was a guy who posted on the Bionicle Facebook page and literally said, "I'm only here for LJ's post." Wow, to still. Isn't that well, nice of him? This aren't aren't needs you a, a celebrity? Aww. <laughs> all right, so I, well, I look for this mask of masks. We have one final thing to talk about. I like to get it out of the way. Takuma, you should get a little bit of a status update on something that uh. Well, is kind of a well, highly you see, request, start talking. I was ha winding up with way too many stocks in my closet the other day, so I had to go through them all, and I found that some of them had holes, and some I just didn't really like, and some I don't think are even mine. So I kind of went through those and threw some away and gave some to my brother. You're not talking about that, are you? No, no we're not. not. Trap. <laughs> okay, so what they're getting at is that there's been no RPG yet. Hey, you already knew that. Yep. Don't. There are multiple reasons for this. Mm -hmm. Who do we want to blame for it? Don't. LJ, LJ. because of his recaps <laughs> and recents when you're delaying the <laughs> RPG. What? I mean, there, okay, there was a fan on the message boards who was doing this, and I, I asked him to stop. He was so annoying. He was the only <laughs> one making this joke, saying I was delaying the RPG because of the recents and the recaps. Which is I never heard about this. It's the truth. No, it is not. It <laughs> no. actually is not. No. I'm saying that. That's not the case. You can explain why. Okay, here's the deal. We did record some RPG material, as a lot of you already know. How many? How, how long did we spend that day doing it, actually? Like four hours. Four hours. Mm -hmm. It's all <coughs> going to be scrapped. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just like BioCraft, ben hashtag too soon. He wasn't there for it. You guys didn't so, wait for me. No, you didn't schedule your day to be there, y'all. Uh, I did. It doesn't I matter. I scheduled it at first, it and then Takuma rescheduled so he could watch some dumb live stream. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I was not watching some dumb live stream. It was the International Five. <laughs> <We're doing it>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's we did dead record dead. something, but we're ditching it for a few reasons. We're ditching it for a few reasons. Uh, one, the vid- it, 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 it was good for a practice run, but for actually putting up on the channel for people to view, it kind of sucked. I mean, what were some of the problems we had? People, we for one thing. Trying to do it with that many people is cumbersome and tedious, especially getting into combat, because people, when you have that many people to get through until a person can get through their turn, they end up getting bored and or distracted or whatever. I mean, the way we were figuring it, well, how, long, how, long did, bleh, how long did we figure that one combat? Encounter was going to last like one little side quest was going to last like <laughs> one three, combat, weeks. three weeks. One combat in a side quest was going to make for three episodes, so almost yep, a month. Which would be released once a week in the place of like LJ's stuff. That is beyond and, uh, stupid. Yes, it would not have worked. That's beyond stupid. Part of the reason for that is because we had so many people to get through. Another part of the reason for that was. The system we were using. Yes, we were using the system that I designed. And no, I do not feel it is a bad system, but it does not work well for trying to make a watchable show out of. Too many things to keep track of. Too many modifiers and variables. And we needed something that was. Yeah, we needed something that was quick, fast, and easy. So. We are not even going to be using the system that I spent I don't even know how much of my life building. Ouch. Literally, probably a hundred hours or more. I don't, yep. I, I don't hate the system. I think it's a fine system. But it's not going to work for Send me what we system. want to do. I've already sent it to you several times. Send it to me again. It's on the, it's on the message boards. Go get it yourself. Okay. Stop being lazy. Okay. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> So anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be starting over. We are going to be splitting up into two groups of three players, which means we'll be going back and forth between these two different, um, I guess you should say, you could, that could say plot lines that will meet up in places. Otherwise, you're going to be... It, I mean, I think this is also going to make for an interesting take. You'll be following two different sets of people and finding out how it all meshes together further on down the road. This makes it so that it's easier to schedule times when people can actually be around, because scheduling for seven people is a nightmare. Especially when yep. some of them are in another Especially country. when some of them are really busy, or in different time zones, or... In other countries. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, splitting it up for people, for partly for scheduling concerns, partly because that'll speed up things where people have to take turns, namely combat... Um, also, to take you know a different look at it, you know, go with the two plot line deal for some. We don't know who the two groups are going to be. No, we don't know who's going to be in which team yet. Hmm. But LJ should definitely be with Kai for community no. value. <laughs> yes, I think that would be the most amusing uh. route to take. Kai, Vin, and LJ, Mivar, and Viper. <laughs> Uh, oh, first no. make it happen. You are not throwing me in that mix. Heck no. <coughs> well, you you need to be with Kai for like lore purposes, but anyway, I, don't I don't want to spoil no, it. I'm changing up my lore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you got time now. Yeah, heck yeah, I'm doing that. No, it would work great, man. No, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay. Carry yeah, on. maybe maybe we can talk about what actually happened in that episode during the after show or something. Since maybe, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Since it's not going to be released. Yeah, let's no, go, yeah, it's not even it. going to be a message board exclusive or, a, or anything like that because it'd be too much work for yeah, almost no. Too return. much work for that. I mean, geez, four hours of footage to go. Th- no, but um, so on the plus though, we're going to be splitting people up. We're going to be using a new system. I am designing and this one's got this one. I'm almost completely finished. It's really quick and dirty and easy. <laughs> quick and for- dirty. Yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> It's it's almost, it's more or less a modified version of fifth edition D and D. Wow, I totally know what that is. A little more simplified and a little more freeform, so that Mesa won't just go shadow bolt, shadow bolt, shadow bolt, 
Shadow Ball. I have very limited direct offensive capabilities. Magic missile. Magic you have very missile. limited ideas of what to do. <laughs> Magic hey, missile. I just hate I just hate being so far away and you know, I have to spend my whole turn walking to someone and then like, oh then I gotta wait next turn. Anyways, new system, splitting people up, uh slightly new story that'll be more interesting. And yeah, I mean obviously at this point we have to start recording all over again, but That's okay. We'd only we're done also kinda one, awkward with only our done characters. One session up until this point anyway. What were you saying, Meso? Yeah. We were also kinda awkward with our characters, so yeah. we can get through it that. It was good for practice time. for people to kinda get in the feeling because Var really didn't know what he was getting into. You no. really don't know what I guess you really don't know what a, one of these things is until you either play it yourself or watch someone play it at the very least. Yep. This is true. So, yeah. And so, people okay. want to make some changes to their characters anyway, I guess. So, whose fault is it? No one's really. That's right. Whose Except fault for isn't Eldred. it? But there's a difference between deciding whose fault it is and deciding who you're going to blame. No. No. It was Eldred. It is obviously no. Eldred's fault. Come on! Alright, I found some amazing masks <laughs> that I would like to show off. Ugh, so, uh, when we'll end the episode and move into the after show. So this is the mask of pure warfare. <laughs> that is the mask of junkyard. <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna pretend my eyes have not seen is this. this, this is I mean, somebody it's got on a our cool shape, shorts, is it? but, uh, I don't know. Next up, the mask it, of bones. It makes me think of something. <laughs> what? Mask of... <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> I'm just I'm gonna refrain from comment just in I case. mean like, I feel bad saying these things because these people you know probably worked really hard or at least they believe they really worked hard on them but oh, the mask no. of masks the mask no. of masks oh no <laughs> on earth this is disgusting this is so gross this is great it's, I love it's it. just a gimmick that's all it is is a gimmick Yep. And then finally, one of my favorite masks in the contest, oh. no sarcasm from an aesthetic perspective. Whoa. The, uh, the mask Whoa. of acceleration. That's cool. <laughs> okay. No, that, <laughs> that's cool. That's, yeah. I like well, that. Yep. LG, yeah, you lose. This one's, one, this one's one of my the favorite best. color schemes ever. So. Yeah. Yep. Black, I'm teal, and like light blue. I'm that glad looks that so I entered. really nice. <laughs> I'm happy that Lego got to see my mask, and I'm glad that I have something to use in the future. The mask of horror dealt the first punch. The mask of acceleration was the knockout. Yeah. <coughs> it was a nice run, so. guys. It was a nice run. Dude, I just I'm love just, how yeah, this one isn't so busy like most Robo of the other Rider ones are. Wheels. Yeah. Exactly. It's much smoother. But Robo Rider wheels. Yeah, I know. Yep. So. Uh, all right. Well, quite honestly, that pretty much wraps up this episode of the TTV Podcast. It ended up being quite jam-packed, which was pretty cool. Stay tuned next week, where we won't have Bionicle 2016 finalized pictures. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> as always, follow us on Vessel at vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel for one week early access to all of our videos, including episode 168 of the TTV Podcast, which is up right now on Vessel if you are watching this episode on YouTube. And... Check us out at uh, store.ttvpodcast.com to buy some shirts. They're pretty cool. We should have some new designs coming up sometime before the end of the world. And uh, check us out at audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend anything but Brick by Brick because it's pretty oversaturated at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, you can check us out on the TTV message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com for exciting discussion of the whole lot of no news we've got nowadays. And thank you very much for listening. Checks out, uh, well, this is endless plug after plug, but we've got an after show coming up. Only for Vessel subscribers. So without further ado, thank you for listening. I'm Messina. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Takuma Nuva. And this was TTV episode 160. Was it 7? It was 7. <sighs> Right. Yeah, six seven. I got it. I Choked it. at the end. See you. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. I'm through with this. <laughs>